What's up everyone? I'm the Lady Friend for Lady Friend Consulting and today I'm going to teach you how to use Kapamon. Kapamon is a tool you can use to greet uh, people who come into your Twitch streams. Um, you can also use it for Mixer and uh, YouTube. I focus on Twitch. Um, so to start off you're going to go to the Kapamon website which is just kapamon.com and from there you'll do Twitch sign in. It's easier just to sign in with your Twitch. So you can see I already have an account which is good. Um, so this is your profile. You'll find things like your referral link. So if you want to refer someone to Kappamon so you can get some of these Kappa points to buy things in the Kappa store, which I'll get into a little bit more later, you'll want to have them be clicking this link. I've actually had, well, that's actually more people than I knew use my link. Anyways, um, so you have that. And then come up here. This is also the stream URL link. This is the link we're going to end up putting into OBS, which I'll show to you how to do that in a little bit. First things first, you're going to want to go down to the marketplace and get yourself a Kappa Mon. Not all of them are going to cost these Kappa points or coins. There are definitely free ones, so there's like the cat. There's a whole lot. And then a lot of them come with these things called mutations. It just means like different variations to the whatever Kapamon you are choosing. There's the extra animations, extra stuff you can have them do. So if you want one, you'll click purchase. Uh, I have pretty much all the free ones, so I can't purchase them. It marks it as owned. If you go to collection over here on the left side, this is where you can find all the ones you have. You'll choose whichever one by clicking choose. I currently have him, so he's marked as active. If you have mutations, you'll go through here as well, same thing. All right. If we go up to commands, this is where we're gonna kind of set them up. Most of this stuff is auto set, so the auto stuff is already set up. So things like greeting, subs, stuff like that. Anything that's done by a trigger, You'll probably be setting up yourself. I don't have this one enabled or this one because I don't really like that. So you can add them over here. That's how you type in the command. This is the message they will say. If you want to have variation messages, you type into any of those other ones. You want to use an image, use that. The animation you want them to do, you choose from in here. The type you can pick, trigger, keyword, or scheduled. You cannot create your own automatic ones, like with the reader ones where it's automatically set up or someone types in chat for the first time to say hello. You can't make those. You can only make trigger, keyword, or scheduled. So scheduled things are like timed messages. They go every so however long you want. Trigger is ones that would be like exclamation point command. Keyword would be like if there's just like a specific word that gets typed in anywhere during the chat, it'll end up appearing. You choose the group that you want to be able to use it. So say you just want it to be for mods, duration, cooldown if you so choose, and then you'll save it to make it a thing. You go back. If you want to find variables to make interesting commands, you'll find them here. These are the variables they have for you. Okay, from there you'll go up. You could choose the direction they are facing. You want to show the uh, commands, link your Spotify if you're doing song requests with him, animation speed, uh, I just do normal, we have a user blacklist, speech bubble configuration, the color, the border, the font, do stuff like that, they'll save it. So let's go back to that profile. I'm not going to open my stream URL link again, but you'll click this to pull it back up after you have it and you're ready to go. And then you're going to come over into OBS, which I'm going to show you here. OBS Inception. And what you'll do is you'll go to settings, or no, my bad, you'll go to the little plus sign on the sources section, not the scenes, add, you're going to pick browser, and this is for OBS Studios, keep in mind. You'll do create new, or for me I already have one, but create new. You're going to paste the link in the URL and then hit OK, and it's going to do the thing. I already have one good to go, so I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to pull my Kapamon in just to show you how it looks. 
recruiter. Okay. There he is. And then you can just place him how you want. Size him how you want with the red thing, just like an image. That color. That's just on the list kind of a thing. But yeah, and that's how you add a Kappamon and how you get that all set up. For your OBS Studios from Kappamon. Thank you guys so much for checking out this first tutorial video on Kappamon. Uh, super appreciate you coming in. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe. And uh, you have a good one and happy streaming.